Hi, I'm Kevin McManus with Great Systems. How adequate are your safeguards? Many of the companies that I work with simply use safeguards as they are. They don't really think about are they adequate for the type of the job being done? Are they commensurate with the amount of risk that is part of the process? They don't really think about when it's okay to work from memory and when might a well-designed checklist might be helpful. In this next video clip, I explore the concept of safeguard adequacy a little bit further. If you'd like more information on this presentation, please send me an email at kevinatgreatsystems.com. Have a great day and keep improving. So we know Reason Swiss cheese model. We may not know how many slices of cheese we're putting between the hazard of, and the target. And I'm even more skeptical about if we know how many holes are in the cheese. The holes indicate the effectiveness. If the safeguard doesn't work very well, that hole's big. If the training doesn't work very well, you've got big holes in your cheese. And so you're paying for things that aren't giving you much value back. And if you add that up over time, the waste goes way up. And worse yet, your exposure goes way up too. And we don't want that to happen. So I'm working with one of my more regular customers down in California. And we were talking about this. And we started thinking about, well, how could I maybe do a comparison? Because one of the complaints Taproot gets in our organization is that people think, well, Taproot just says you should have a procedure for everything. You guys agree with that? We should have a procedure for everything? No, it depends on risk. So I did up this little table here to show how different safeguards might vary based on the relative level of risk in the work. And so you've got a low risk work column, a medium risk work column, and a high risk work column. There might be some types of work where we can work from memory, but in most companies we teach at, that percentage is like 80, 90% of jobs are done by memory. Oh, we refreshed that during the tailboard meeting. Well, how well was the tailboard meeting conducted? How do you know if you truly refreshed their minds and if you guys know anything about short-term memory, did it stick and how long did it stick? So I think all too often we are working from memory when we shouldn't be. Work packages. Have you guys seen deficiencies in work packages in the field? Or do, are the guys given what they need to be successful? If they had to refer to something on very short notice, how far would they have to run to get the data? Can they pull what they need out of their pocket or up on their phone? Or would they have to call a supervisor? Would they have to get in the truck and drive somewhere? I believe we set folks up for failure by not making sure our safeguards are adequate for the type of work they're doing. Either we assume the risk level is lower than we thought, and I don't think that's the case. I think we appreciate the risk level of the work, but I also think we overestimate how effective our safeguards work, and so we just keep throwing more safeguards at it and hope the holes never line up. Does that sound like a good strategy for success? Does that allow you to sleep at night? Yeah, and it's very costly. Hello once again. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video clip. It meant a whole lot for me to be able to bring it to you. Please connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you have any questions, visit the website at www.greatsystems.com or shoot me a message via Kevin at greatsystems.com. Over my career, I've had a chance to learn about a lot of best practices and I'd really like to share them with you. Have a great day and keep improving.